Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Chef Ricardo Costa. Uh, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm going to show you something easy. I like to eat sandwiches a lot, you know, on the go all the time. So I've come up with a really spicy chipotle mayo. Really easy to make. It stores in your refrigerator for about a week. So let me show you just how easy it is to come out there. Now i got a food processor here. If you don't have one of these, you should definitely get one. You can find an inexpensive brand because it's really good. If you're someone that cooks a lot, you definitely want to use this. To top off, I got the flat blade attachment in there. First, of course, I want to start off with some about a cup of mayo. And I want to make a lighter version. I use light mayo. So, here, grab a smaller spoon. I don't want to get this. Use the eyeball it, but I'm trying to get better at. Chinese mustard. We can use any kind of hot mustard or spicy mustard. Add that to the mix. If you don't like it too, too hot, you can leave the mustard out or use a regular mustard. But it adds a good tang to it. I like the mustard. Right that way. Right, now, of course, be 12 tomato without a chipotle. So I got some, uh, you want to use the kind that's in adobo, which is the uh, red tomato sauce. I usually leave the seeds in because I like it spicy, but if you don't like it as spicy, take the seeds out. So I'm going to throw that in here. I'm just going to use one, one half. That one I left the seeds in. Season a little bit of salt. Very slowly with this. First. I kind of put a couple little pulses. So what I do is I take a little rubber spatula works perfect for this. I'm moving around because we want it all incorporated. It's not all quite incorporated yet. Careful taking this blade out. When I mean careful, I mean careful. With all the product you put in it, it's going to be very slippery. Now, with our rubber spatula, we want to take this all out. Now, obviously, if you want to make more, I would make this little at a time because you you don't want it to go bad on you. Then you know it's a waste. This actually makes a good amount. Stir it just a little bit, whatever the food processor didn't get. But we definitely got the chipotle all torn apart in there, and the mustard. So now we'll chill this for a little bit before using it, get all those flavors to meld in. And this goes great on burgers, sandwiches. You can actually use this as a dip as you take some 
whole wheat tortillas, cut them into triangles. Then I put them in the oven, spray them with a little bit of cooking spray, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and use it as a dip with the with chips. So, and there you have it. Uh, keep your eye out for other videos. More stuff coming out. Website's coming up too. We'll have links to this, and be seeing you soon. Take care.